Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anka and I do art and illustration related videos. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys how I make daddy earrings. But before we get into that, I wanted to show you a small shop update I'm having this week. So I made a couple of new products for my shop. And the first ones are the clay pins you have seen in my last video. I have this uh, vintage rotary uh, phone pin. Uh, I also have this retro TV pin. They all come with uh, butterfly clasps on the back and a custom uh, backing card. And I also made this mushroom pin. They will be in a very limited quantity. So if you do want to grab one, uh, make sure you grab one now. And these are the stud earrings. I will be showing you how I make in this video. This first pair you might have seen in my last video about making stud earrings, but I wanted to make some new designs, so I made these cassette earrings and also these cake earrings. So uh, I made all of these clay things and I also wanted to include a new sticker set and I made some mini stickers from my sketchbook with some animals. So I have this frog sticker, um, this elephant one, this cat one, and this little birdie one. So the stickers are quite small, five by five centimeters, and they come in this envelope, which I made myself. And yeah, this is the small shop update I wanted to share with you guys. I will leave a link to my shop in the description box. And now we can get into the video and show you guys how I made the earrings. So for the earrings I used air dry clay, you know, <laughs> you guys know that is my favorite thing to use. This particular time I used DAS air dry clay, but usually I like to use the Darvi one. I think it's better and easier to work with. So I made some stencils using cardboard and cut out the shapes of the earrings. And then I started um, perfecting the shapes. I cut out the corners so they look more rounded and I added uh, some indents on the back for when I attach the backings as well. Uh, you don't need any fancy tools for this. The shapes are pretty simple and it's easy to do. And yeah, you just have to leave them uh, to dry for about a day. But since they are so small, they dry up really fast and I was able to continue the process the next day. So after they are dry, I sandpaper everything. I use a pretty fine sandpaper, but yeah, I really hate this process. I mentioned this in my uh, previous video, but uh, it's very messy and um, yeah, I just don't <laughs> like it. So, and I don't think it's interesting to show at all. So I did attach the backings once the they were sandpapered. I used resin to attach the backings. I find that it's the best option. It's very sturdy. And before uh, attaching them, I did paint the backs. So I didn't film this process. It's a very complicated process. Well, not complicated, but you have to be really careful at what you are doing. And I wasn't able to film it al also. So for painting the earrings, I used the jelly gouache from Artex. Um, I just kind of went with my gut, with the color palette and everything. And yeah, the cassette I used like this uh, vintage turquoise or dusty turquoise. I don't know how to call it color. And uh, it was really handy to have this sponge so I can uh, attach the earrings to it. They wouldn't move around that much. And also I found that it's really helpful to add the backings first so you can grab them on easier. This is something that uh, somebody suggested in the comments and yeah, it was really good advice. So I highly suggest you do that if you are playing, planning to make earrings like this. So the painting process took a while. Uh, it's I wanted to make sure I get everything coated. I also use some Artistro paint pens. Uh, for adding white details to the envelopes and the cassettes and everything. For the cake I was really uncertain about the design I wanted, but I think it turned out pretty cute and I went with this lavender color, which is totally uh, out of my comfort zone. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it looked uh, pretty nice. 
Uh, I also did want to mention that the backings on the earrings are stainless steel. So if you are allergic to that, please make sure <laughs> you uh, check out the description of the earrings on the website if you do want to purchase them. I do not have um, silver earrings for now. So yeah, I did want to mention that. So after painting them, I uh, pretty much varnished them and they were good to go the next day. I made some custom backings for them uh, using artistro pens and a stamp. And yeah, this is my process. It's a pretty simple process since they are so small, everything dries up really fast and that is very helpful and I can streamline better the whole process. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, do check out my shop update if you are interested in getting any of these. They are very limited quantity. And um, yeah, so if you do want in particular something, then check out the description box to see my shop. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!